वेलकम बैक टू सिविल इंजीनियर यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस शॉर्ट वीडियो लेक्चर आई विल गाइड यू प्रैक्टिकली फॉर फोर बिग मिस्टेक्स इन द कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ दिस प्लेंथ बीम व्हिच यू कैन सी ऑलरेडी कंस्ट्रक्टेड ऑन द टॉप ऑफ दिस प्लेंथ लेवल यू कैन सी गाइज दिस इज प्लेंथ बीम स्टील री एनफोर्समेंट डिटेल्स इफ यू सी वी हैव टू स्टील रॉड्स एट द बॉटम बट एट द बॉटम सेक्शन ऑफ दिस फ्लोर बीम प्लेंथ बीम सॉरी दे प्रोवाइडेड लेपिंग at the distance of l by 2 or you can say this is the middle point of this plinth beam so this is one of the big mistake because this is tension zone but in tension zone at the distance of l by 2 lapping should not be provide if you provide so there we have positive bending moment due to positive bending moment we have more chances of failure here at this place so this is one of the big mistake in this plinth beam next guys you can see here spacing of stirrups which is about 10 inches so at the distance of l by 4 you can use minimum 4 inches and after l by 4 you can increase up to from 6 to 7 inches you can keep the stirrup spacing and the stirrup dia should not be less than 8 mm guys you can see they already provided here and hooks should be provided minimum 3 inches guys you can see the leaping is started from that that point to this one which is about 4 feet but they provided at the distance of l by 2 look here guys the dia is 16 mm for bottom bars also for top bars at the upper portion of this plinth beam they provided three numbers of steel rods which is not okay that's why because upper portion is called compression zone so concrete is strong in compression but it's weak in tension so therefore in tension zone you should provide maximum numbers of steel reinforcement compared to its upper portion guys you can see we have three bars at upper portion this should be opposite of each other but they did wrong look here guys and the leaping should not be less than 60d on the other side guys you can see the stirrup is already broken here and they didn't provide the hooks on 135 degree they did on 90 degree and the first stirrup should be placed at the distance of minimum 2 inches everything is wrong and the spacing is same at the distance of l by 4 after l by 4 so if you are working on construction site so these technical terms should be remember when you are working for plinth beam or for any kind of steel structure design look at here that one is also uh, wrong as you can see the uh, the last one look at here guys here the span is about 10 feet okay guys thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye